Today is October 18th, 2009, and I'm making a video of my house because in a few days I'm going to start major renovation. In short, I'm going to be building a new foundation and a new basement. So, what they're going to do is they're going to lift the house off of its existing foundation, demolish the foundation, build a new foundation, and put the house back onto the new foundation. Of course, they're going to put in new uh, French drains around the new foundation. It's going to be insulated, and eventually I'll finish it. So I hope to be able to make a series of videos documenting these renovations. Um, I'm rather nervous about it because I've gone out and borrowed a huge amount of money to finance them. <laughs> but I believe uh, it'll be worth it. So part of the work is going to include the building of a new balcony with a little roof. I'm going to try to zoom in. The foundation doesn't look so bad from here. That's my cat, by the way. The foundation doesn't look so bad from here, but that's because what you see is a stucco finish. If I go to the side, you see a spot where the stucco has fallen off and you see what the actual concrete looks like. I've had this tested by a materials lab and they tell me that actually it's not concrete, it's mortar. Uh, according to the Canadian National Building Code, concrete used in foundations needs to have a strength of 25 MPa, megapascals. They've tested it and it's got an average strength of 7 MPa. So, not even a quarter. There's Maya, my cat. So essentially, this is it. So there's not much to see now. How they're going to raise the house is at first they're going to punch holes through the foundation. There'll be a hole here and a hole about here and they're going to put two steel beams. These are 60 foot long steel beams under the house. And the steel beams will be supported by a kind of a pillar made out of wooden blocks. There'll be one about here and another one there and same thing in front of the house. And they use hydraulic jacks to lift the house up and then there'll be pillars, steel beams going the other way. That was my hand, sorry. Um, so I'll show you a bit what the basement looks like. This is um, an entrance I have that goes directly outside. I don't know if you can see much. So this is what the basement looks like. What you see is uh, glue. When I bought the house five years ago, there was some insulation on it. Um, but you can see that it leaked. It leaks every time it rains. And it's not good to have water leaking behind insulation, so I ripped it all off. And um, the basement is about six feet high. When I rebuild it, it'll be, um, you'll have at least seven and a half feet under the main beams and eight feet under most of the ceiling. And um, it'll be enlarged here because we're going to enlarge it under the back porch. And I'm going to have bigger windows. And I'm going to add two more windows. One here. One here. And uh, the project doesn't include finishing. That will be another phase. Um, this phase is basically the heavy construction where we rebuild the foundation walls, the floor slab, we're going to replace these beams because there's too many columns so I'm going to reduce out of the six columns I'm going to reduce it down to four so the span of these beams are going to double because they're going to strengthen them so that it will allow me to add a second floor if I ever want to in the future so um, we're going to use uh, parallel beams which is basically a kind of a plywood 
It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fabricated wood beam made in a factory. So essentially they're going to have to cut away these beams. I don't know if you can see anything in, near the window, you may be able. We're going to cut away these beams. So, I'll keep you up to date. The first step that they're going to start on Tuesday is this is a chimney. There used to be a furnace here, and this was the uh, chimney to the furnace. Before they can do anything, they have to demolish this chimney, which goes all the way up through the house, through the attic. As you, have, as you can see, I have a fairly large backyard. That's one of the main reasons why I bought this uh, property five years ago. I have 12,000 square feet, which is quite rare for um, a suburban area so close to uh, Montreal. And it's a fairly quiet neighborhood. There's an unusual amount of traffic because um, a street nearby is being rebuilt, so there's a detour. All the traffic's being detoured through uh, this street. But normally it's quite quiet. I planted the cedar hedge. My dream is that one day this will turn into an oasis of peace. So, you can't see them, but I planted some small conifers in the back, and I'll plant more cedars next year. And um, ten years from now, I'll have a wall of green around here with flower beds. I've started some flower beds. Unfortunately, they've kind of gone to weeds. I've been very busy this summer. And I'm going to have a pool here. I'm going to have a deck here. And this I'm going to insulate and replace all the windows and everything. I'm going to put a sliding door here with the deck. And in the basement um, there's a teaching hospital within walking distance with 1800 medical students. What I hope is to rent um, the two rooms that I'm going to put in the basement to some medical students. So um, that'll help pay for the work I want to do. And I need a new roof. The roof is finished. And it was originally part of the project. I had so much trouble getting this project off the ground because the first estimates came in 50% greater than the financing. And I thought I had arranged some rather generous financing. So I spent most of the summer trying to cut costs and negotiate with the bank and try to get everything to work. Which is why, normally this project should be done in the summer. We're going to start work near the end of October, and it'll take almost two months, so we're going to finish almost at Christmas. Which means that when we end, there'll probably be snow. This is Montreal, after all, so we normally get our first heavy snow in early to mid-December. We can even get intermittent snow, that snow that melts after a while, in November. Uh, it's already uh, late October. It freezes at night. If everything looks a bit bare, it's because I had to move all the plants and patio stones and everything around my property. My sort of temporary planted stuff here and back there. And I have a huge pile of patio stones and other stuff. So, today's my Last day I'll be living in the house until the work's completed. I'll be spending the next uh, six weeks or so living at my parents' place, which is not far from here. Um, and uh, I'll keep you updated as to the uh, progress of this project.